Well, the training pool here at Club Manang has always been very strong and we've added another one to the collection in former outstanding trainer here in New South Wales, in particular at Harrell Park, where he won numerous premierships, David Aiken. Good to see David back after what was an outstanding career also in Victoria. Of course, who will ever forget the deeds of Lenny the Shark? Caught up with David to discuss the move and some of the prospects of his runners over the weekend. Well, David, it's hard to believe 28 years in the making, but you're finally back home. Yeah, no, we're... Um it doesn't seem that long, but um, you know we've been there a while, and uh, yeah, we decided to come home for a little while. Um, I'll, get, I'll probably go backwards and forwards a little bit, but uh, yeah, we'll be more more time in Sydney than um, Victoria. You had a record-breaking career in New South Wales, in particular at Harrell Park, for a number of years. The trip to Melbourne certainly paid dividends. Yeah, no, it was really good. You know, we bought a nice little farm there at Avenal, and uh, you know the kids grew up. You know. We, it was either there or Bankstown, so it wasn't a hard, to, you know, Bankstown was getting, um, you know, it was, it was going to be built out eventually. So, uh, we, you know, we had a great time at Bankstown and we had a lot of, you know, great memories there, but um, we also have had some great memories at, in Victoria. Miracle Mile into Dominion, just two of the races you've got on the uh, trophy cabinet now. Yeah, no, we've really done well. You know, a couple of big cups, um, we won three of those. So, you know, it's been really good. Um, uh, you know, we're lucky to get some really, really nice, you know, Lenny, once in a lifetime horse, Sector JJ. Uh, Max Delight just went over the million last week. Um, just, you know, we're just lucky. Um, you know, we, you think we're not going to get another one and one pops up again. So, but we're sort of slowing down. Um, and that's the whole thing, Collins. You know, the farms, it, it, it's, it's hard work. And since COVID, things have changed. So, um, uh, yeah, so it's just a, we're winding down a little bit and you know, if we want to do things that we want to do for a while, we can do it. And how many horses will be calling New South Wales home? Well, we've got 13 there at the moment, but we've got to go through a, a couple of them because we just could only work a couple at home. Um, so uh, we just bought most of the ones we could bring up and then we just got to sort them out and um, see where, you know, the weaker ones have got to go or, you know, and yeah, it's just, it's more of a lifestyle thing. So between eight and ten horses, hopefully. Back home, your son Josh, who has driven over 500 winners and Group 1 success, he's going to be looking after a small team. Yeah, and I've got a lovely uh, trotting filly, Maori Max. She raced in all, all the good races last year, uh, ran a couple of seconds in Group 1s, and uh, he, he selected her at the sale, so he's got her and another little down by the seaside fella. So with his work, he can only do a couple. So, um, yeah, so he's we're still at the farm. And, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's going to be okay, I think. Yeah, Josh has been off the scene for a while, but with very good course, he does a wonderful job. Yeah, yeah, he, he's a he's, he's titled is a youth innovator, uh, um, and it, what it is, they they look after kids. It's respite for foster parents. They go to a farm, and there's 20 kids at a time go there, and uh, he loves it. And uh, it's the reason why he hasn't been driving Saturday nights because most of the time it's on a weekend, and then he'll do one on ones with uh, like a, a special kid that needs just a little bit of extra help. Now, you mentioned Max Delight. What a wonderful period of racing he's had of late. Uh, second to Leap to Fame in the Cranbourne Cup. Third to the same horse. Don't stop dreaming. Split him in the Hunter Cup. And he's won another couple of cups and been very prominent at others. So he's just in a purple patch. Yeah, he's going really good. You know, he just went through. Not, not a lot. We were always happy with him. Um, his sectionals were always really good. But just, he was drawing bad. And, you know, so if Mick in the, these, these races, you know, you can run quick halves back in the field and, and and all of a sudden you're out of form. Um, but we always had faith in that he was he was going okay. And, you know, uh, I was driving for a little while, Nathan's jumped on him and it's really quick with him. David, talking about drawing bad with Max Delight, the field for the Newcastle Mile has just been released and you've drawn deep in gate nine. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a shame, you know, just hoping these races, because they're so good, like Leap to Fame's, you know, I think head and shoulders above uh, you know, 99% of horses in Australia and, you know, you just want that, that bit of luck. So we haven't got it. He's going good. I'm really happy with him. So just hopefully he'll run a good race. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, I can't, I can't um, you know, I've trained him here on, on Sunday morning and he was he was super. So he's fit. He's ready to go. But it's just a shame that he's, uh, you know, he's just drawn bad. David, throughout your illustrious career, both as a trainer and driver and watching horses. How does this fella rate Leap to Fame? Oh yeah, no, he's going to be, I think, um, you know, he was a great 
young horse, Derby winners. You know, I, I loved him when he came to Melbourne. He won the, he just, he just killed them. And when he won the Derby here, and he, now he's gone on. And Grant's done a really good job uh, managing him. And uh, now I think, but you know, he's won a lot of money now. I think by the time he ends up, he'll be one of the uh, considered one of the great ones. An excellent program of racing on Saturday night here at Club and Angle. The fields are just out as well. Race six sees Let's Rock and Roll go around, but you're up again, don't stop dreaming. The good horses just keep on coming. Yeah, it's a little bit of shame with him. He, he, he's, he's, his rating's just a little bit higher where he can get underneath that the open, and um, realistically, he's not an open horse. Um, so hopefully um, we can get a drop with him with a junior or, um, yeah, after, after Saturday night. You book Ryan Sanders and he's going exceptionally well. He's progressed over the last 12 months or so into a very polished young driver. Oh, Ryan's terrific. He, he came and worked for him for a little while, lived in the house, and uh, he's just a gentleman. He's just he's a credit to the industry, Ryan. He's going really good, and um, it, whenever you know, he's and he get, really gets on good with um, uh, less rock, less roll. Yeah, but uh, no, he's a credit to the industry. Now that you're back on this side of the border, you're still going to be supporting the Parramatta Reels, or you got a foot in each camp now? Well, um, yeah, well, I'm, 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 I've got to stay. True to, I've always stayed true to para, but uh, since we're in Melbourne, we have jumped a little bit on the storm bandwagon too. But you can have two teams, so it's a bit hard when you go to the games. We go to the games in Melbourne when para plays, it's sort of it's, it's, it's actually a weird feeling, but uh, you know, you've got to stick. We might get a veterans uh, touch football team back together again, except DJ, and I prefer to DJ Benske. He keeps going back. I think he's the Benjamin Button of harness racing, yeah, but he's in injury prone, <laughs> won't touch footy, but yeah, no, it's uh. And I was still time touch not so just before COVID. You know, I still kept myself pretty fit. But uh, yeah, but uh, I won the veterans race in um, at Bendigo this year, so that was that was one of the credits this year. So yeah, I'm you know I'll, I, I drove a few today, but I'll I'll probably won't be driving a hell of a lot of them. You know, a couple of ones that we own, a couple of trotters and that. So yeah, I saw that race at Bendigo, the veterans race, DA, and I can't believe the, where the, all the years have gone. Yeah, well, it's just we're still here anyway, Mick. So uh, now it's all good. It's always a plus, Dave. Good to catch up with you. Yeah, thanks, Mick. Thank you.